Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Before we jump into this video, I gotta show you what I found at the Chinese supermarket today. Look at this. White Rabbit milk tea. If you guys don't know why I'm so excited, uh, White Rabbit is basically a candy that all Chinese kids grew up with. I mean, all Chinese people grew up with that we've had since we were kids. It's an iconic Chinese candy. And recently they've been making it into ice cream, different flavors. I never seen this before. And on the bottom it says Bai Tao Wulong. So it's white peach oolong tea. Let's try this. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Tea bag, straw, condensed milk, milk tea powder. And I think this is a jello. Then you add the milk powder. Seems like a lot of milk powder. Bubble tea straw. Oh, look, a bendy bubble tea straw. Just gonna melt the milk powder in. Oh, so it's bubble tea topping. It's jelly. So that goes in. And based on how sweet, and you can add as much or as little condensed milk as you want. This tastes like I'm drinking a cup of watered down cream. So I was supposed to fill the water all the way to the top. And it says the longer I soak the tea bag, the stronger the tea flavor. It really doesn't have tea flavor at all with all that milk powder. That is so milky. If I finish all this, I feel like I'm gonna be sick for a while. So the best thing about this is actually the jelly and the bendy bubble tea straw. This is really cool. I think I'll keep this. Eh, as much as I wish this white rabbit drink would have been awesome because this is basically every Chinese person's nostalgia. Not that good, unfortunately. And speaking of nostalgia, the video you're about to see was filmed at what I think is one of the best, maybe it is the best, all-you-can-eat lobster buffet in the US. Because most lobster buffets, if you go, the lobster is typically frozen before it's cooked. Not at this place. Also, I didn't talk about this in the video, but in the video, you're gonna see a lobster in their tank that looks like it's already cooked, but it's still swimming. So you're gonna see a golden colored lobster. And the golden color is usually caused by mutations or outside stimulus. And this lobster is only found in one out of 30 million lobsters. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna cook that one. Anyway, I didn't really explain it inside the video, so I wanted to let you guys know here. And before we get to the video, a big thank you and shout out to Hopper for sponsoring this episode and being a new sponsor on this channel. If you guys never used Hopper before, it's a free travel app for iOS and Android. It's something that Christine has been using for years, and I've been using it for the last few months to book all my travels, hotels, flights, airlines. And like I told you guys before, any sponsor that wants to come on this channel, I gotta test their product out extensively. This is a great app. First of all, what I like about it, super clean interface, really easy to navigate, not cluttered at all. When you're ready to book a flight, hotel, car, the dates are color coded, so it's really easy to find the cheapest dates for your trip. And what I really like about this, I think you guys are always gonna find this extremely helpful. They have a watch a trip feature. So what Hopper does is that it monitors the price 24 seven. So it lets you know if the price of your trip is going up or going down and gives you recommendations on which days to book the trip. And they have a price prediction technology that's over 95% accurate. So basically when Hopper is confident they found the best price for your trip, they're gonna send you a notification right away, a couple clicks, you're booked. And on average, Hopper users save about $65 compared to other travel booking platforms. There's no hidden fees, so it really takes the stress out of it. Also, I had some questions about my booking on my recent trip to Chicago. Messaged them, got back to me right away, and they kept following up to make sure I was good, the trip was good, and this was all before I agreed to do the sponsorship. So it wasn't just them being nice to me. And like I mentioned before, recently I drove to Chicago, used Hopper to book my hotel, I used their price freeze option, and I saved $229 on that trip. On top of all the savings, Hopper has something called carrot bucks, because you know, Hopper, bunnies, bunnies, eats carrots. So each time you book, you get carrot bucks. And that helps make your future trips even cheaper. And I know things are opening up right now. A lot of people are traveling more. So if you are interested in checking out Hopper, use my link down below. Download the Hopper app and you're going to get 10 carrot cash reward for free. And this reward can be applied to your first hotel booking on the app. So definitely check it out. All right. Enjoy the video. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. 
Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can't do better, so much better. Hey guys, Mike Chen. Happy Sunday afternoon from Charlestown, Rhode Island. Last time I was here, I think it was over 12 years ago, I was still working as a wedding videographer. I saved up half a month's pay for this right here. All you can eat lobster buffet at the Nordic Lodge. I still remember, I uh, drove all the way here with a friend of mine, shout out from my table, and then I pretty much blacked out. All I remember was a never ending flow of lobster, delicious steak, and a haagen bar. Anyway, although it took over a dozen years, I'm back. Let's go eat some lobster. From what I remember, there's different sections of food, just like any buffet. First thing you're gonna wanna hit up, of course, is the seafood. We have some cooked seafoods here, some scampi king crab legs, always awesome. Freshly shucked oysters right here. This is the star attraction, well, one of them. Once you pass the seafood salad, the cold seafood dishes, freshly boiled lobster right here. Look at that. Snow crab, lobster, potatoes, there's fresh clams, clam chowder stuff, mushrooms. So if that's not enough to get you excited, let me show something else. This is the grill room. Come on, you can't just have surf, you gotta have some turf as well. So this is what they do here. So steaks here, you got prime rib right there. So can't miss that. Now, let me, let me show you what I was really excited about when I came here last and I'm still so excited about today. This is something I've never seen in a buffet ever. All you can eat, drink, slurp, whatever you want, haagen bar right here. So they can make you banana splits, sundaes, milkshakes, brownies, sundaes, creamsicles, root beer floats, all with haagen ice cream. Obviously at a buffet, you don't want to fill up on, on this, but that's hard. I know I'm eating at least two milkshakes today and a sundae. After that, if you haven't got enough sweets, you got a dessert bar right here. Pies, cakes, cookies, chocolate covered strawberries, chocolate covered cherries. All right, I gotta put this camera down and start eating. Thank you. Take some butter, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Round one. First plate yeah. on the table. So I'm gonna shoot for about 10 lobsters today, as a minimum. Just a little history about this place, really cool. Uh, so they started out as a little restaurant, just kind of uh, providing for the local cabin community around this lake. And eventually the cabins faded, but this restaurant grew to be the iconic place that it is today and every single day. Fresh crab is flown in, fresh oysters, uh, fresh lobsters, of course. I got the calamari, the mussel, and the conch salad. Oh, that is so good already. Lobster, mac and cheese. Again, this is kind of going against my no noodles, no heavy stuff when it comes to a buffet, but. Are you telling me you can look that lobster mac and cheese in the face and not want to eat it? No, you can. Mmm. Oh, sweet. It's 
no cramp, as good as it was. Just a precursor to the main vent. One of 10, that's my goal today. Candy up the sea, which makes this place pretty much the ocean's candy store. That's so sweet. That is as fresh of a lobster as you can get anywhere. <laughs> Don't even need the butter. Just enjoy that thing and all its sweetness. Lobster mac and cheese. Eat that with a side of salad. You get something vinegary, a little different texture in the seafood. Oh, that's perfect. Again, I don't usually recommend eating any sort of noodle or anything in a buffet. This is just a really good combo. Also, you know what? I can't hold out anymore. I thought I could, I can't. Round two, more seafood, and first visit to the haagen bar. Can I please get a root beer float? Thank you. Would you like a bowl? Oh yeah, please. Oh yeah. I could do that. That's a lot smarter, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're Round two. Got some chowder, some bisque, some clams. And yeah. again, yeah, couldn't help it. Root beer float. Hagen dazs root beer float. Wow, that's good. When my parents had a restaurant, we had a soft serve machine and a fountain soda machine. Imagine what my drink was every single day for every single meal. Oh, look at this clam chowder. Giant pieces of clam inside. Holy moly. Lobster bisque as well. Giant pieces of lobster. Look at this thing. Oh, that's so good. That clam chowder is so good. You know, when you actually have clam chowder where you can taste the clams, it's surprising sometimes, which is kind of sad, but you can tell those are fresh clams. Mm. Oh, lobster bisque is so good too. So creamy and sweet. And here's my trick for eating any sort of uh, thicker soup, hot sauce. I think it's a Boston thing. I learned this when I lived in Boston. Gotta add some hot sauce into your clam chowder. And the reason for that is, and that just throws in such a nice kick to your soups. Perfect. Also, if you want more substance in your clam chowder, here's what you can do. Get a bowl of clams. This is for those who want a really, really clammy bowl of clam chowder. Mm. Adding fresh clams to your bowl of clam chowder. I think that's a pretty good buffet hack. I mean, can you really ever have too many clams in a bowl of clam chowder? Can you be too good looking? Do we really need five Twilight movies? The answer is no. No, there cannot be enough clams in a bowl of clam chowder. Oh, hot sauce is even better than the lobster bisque. Mmm, I just had an idea. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. I wanna try it. Round three, double lobster. So, I really like the lobster bisque. And as much fun as dipping lobsters in butter is, by the way, you should always crack some pepper into the butter. And if it's not salty enough, you can add some salt as well. Mmm. Don't sleep on the stuffed mushrooms. Here's the thing. I love a chunk of lobster in every single bite of bisque I take. When I run out of lobsters in the soup, kind of sad. But that doesn't have to be the case, especially when you're at an all-you-can-eat lobster buffet. So, lobster into the bisque. You want to change it up a little bit from dipping it in butter? Try the bisque or cocktail sauce, but try the bisque with hot sauce, of course. Mm. 
sweet, spicy, and creamy. To turn your lobster bisque into a different sauce for your lobster, highly recommended. All right, gonna take a lobster break and go for some steak. How's Hi. Going so far? Oh, I'm doing well. How about you? Pretty good. Can I get a steak? Yeah, how do you like that done? Uh, medium rare. There is one. Okay. And whatever that is looks good. Teriyaki tenderloin too. Yeah. Thank you. Second time back at the Hagen Dazs station. Not proud, not proud, but sometimes it's just easier to give in to your temptations. Round four, turf time. Two pieces of steak, Hagen Dazs strawberry milkshake. Oh, I predict there will be many more of this in my immediate future. They cook your steak to order. and pour a buffet. That might be the best piece of steak to put in your mouth. This is a really good piece of steak. I, I forgot how the steak was here from uh, over a decade ago. This thing is so tender. Mouth in your mouth. Mmm. Or get a piece of prime rib. Mm. Best thing. Definitely the stick. Get this medium rare, and it will be a lovely companion to the lobster. You know, while, while they're both in your stomach. Mm. Usually, at a buffet, I take shellfish breaks in between meats. This is the first buffet I've went to that. Taking steak breaks in between the lobster. Or I like to call sea steak breaks. Is that stupid? I have no idea what you're doing. Like sea, lobsters from the sea, like sea. But steak's a steak. Like a sea steak. Like a sea steak break. Disapprove? Bad? It's good? No, I don't think it's good. You didn't get that for like 20 minutes. That's bad. I'll do better. All right, dessert time. I'm gonna take a little break from lobster. The good thing about lobster is since it's sweet, you can kind of categorize it as a dessert. So feel free to eat your dessert, go back for more lobster. This is a Ghirardelli brownie, a apple blossom, and a Snickers cheesecake. Ha! Huh. Of course, Haganaz ice cream, butter pecan to go with all this stuff. That's oh, an awesome Snickers cheesecake. Wow. Oh, get that Snickers cheesecake. I don't know why chocolate's covered strawberries gets all the love. I think chocolate covered cherries are better. Ghirardelli brownie. Mm. I will highly suggest some coffee or tea to go with a dessert. It is gonna be sweet, but it is good. I might have made a miscalculation. The dessert is too good, and it is heavy. Time to concentrate. And for the last dessert item, two lobsters. Kind of interesting being back here and reflecting on how life has been so different since the last time I was here. Before, I was living in a basement in Brooklyn, saving all I can to come here and eat a lobster buffet. Never in the world thinking this will be my job in the future. I mean, I thought a lot of things could have been my job. Like, I tried out finance, Accounting, worked at Target. I was a wedding videographer. I was also the voice of the voting machines. You guys know, you guys probably don't know this. Back when, I think about 10 years ago, if you went to vote in New York City and you put on the Mandarin option and you hear the voice going, oh, Obama, that's me. Point is, it's gonna be back. One final Haggadah Sunday for the road. Needless to say, this has been a pretty fun Sunday afternoon.
I think of all the lobster buffets I've been to, once in Vegas, whatever, this is the only place where the lobster is actually swimming right before it's brought to you. So if you want just the freshest lobster possible, this is the place. Again, haven't been back here in such a long time. Still enjoyed it so much. Favorite thing, of course, all the seafood. The steak, make sure you get a medium rare. And of course, haagen bar. I'll go to like a haagen store maybe once every three years. But if I see haagen on a buffet, I'm eating as much as I can. Only thing I'm not looking forward to, three and a half hour drive back. I gotta start soon because I gotta make it back for dinner. The information for this place I went to is listed in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching until we eat again. See you later. Oh, and before or after your meal, come here, play some, what's it called? Coin, corn, corn wall, corn something, cornhole. There's live music. It's right by a beautiful lake and play some sand volleyball. Pretty much work out a little bit before heading home. So nice. So nice. So it's a good day. Right. See you later.